Thermo installed ZXT um, software. This is designed to run these robots, which are basically a Lego framework with a computer holder for the program. So now as this holds the programs and drives anything, any outputs. So it's an interface for you and out. And then you've got the big motors, which are servo motors, which means to say that they're able to adjust their performance to keep the, the robot straight. It's a, that's all built in software. We've got two sensors on this one, ultrasonic sensor and a light sensor. Okay? And these are controlled by um, the files that we download from the software. This holds the files in place as long as it's got power.
take a reading at a fixed point. Okay? Now, by adding this in, we can see that the light sensor has now come on. Okay? Now this is um, quite simply infrared, so you might be able to see it on, on your camera as white light, yes? Yeah, you can, right, okay. So what we're going to end up with there is um, a mission where it goes to take a reading from it. Now, at the moment, it's taking a reading off this blue surface, which is 44, okay? If I was to take it off the white surface, that would go up to 69. Yeah. So, the darker the colour, the lower the number. So we would set out for them, like strips of different colour papers, glue down, and get them to drive over that and gather data from that there. Then when they come back, okay, we would then use the data logging part of the software um, to give us that information back. So we're on port number three for our light sensor, which is there. So we look at port three, now we go for light sensor, okay? That's now told the system that we're looking at port three. Okay, we press that, we're now going to download that. Okay, and it's now going to take different readings according to where, where we are. Okay. On various different things. So, what it's done is given us 10 seconds of data, okay, and we've got our light level reading down the side that we saw numerically before. So it correlates quite easily in the student's mind. Uh, this number here is the number we've seen earlier down here on our um, software title there, okay? Now, what we're going to try and also do is to say, Right, we can capture this data and just put it in an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so we just export that data to Excel and then they can save it then to use in a, in a maths lesson. So, in that exercise, which would take a couple of lessons, we have done some ICT control, we've done some maths, and we've done some science, but we've also thought about the technology of how the robot actually operates. So we've got an integrated series of lessons there, which put the students' frame of mind right for the real world, which is very integrated now. You don't just do maths 